Welcome back to Science Sundays. This week we are building with bubbles, using science to create art and explore engineering, using simple items you have in your kitchen. This is an activity that is great for students of all ages. Check it out. This lesson is actually called bubble building. Who doesn't love bubbles? <laughs> bubbles actually are bursting with science. And so we're gonna talk about that as um, I create the bubble solution. So I'm gonna start off with my cup and I'm gonna pour in water. Now water is made up of molecules that come together at the surface and they form a wall or some type of film. That's called surface tension. So that's one of the important vocabulary words you're going to want to address is surface tension. Now to, to create our bubbles, we are going to want to break that surface tension with the surfactant. Surfactants break up surface tension to help us create a bubble solution. And that's where the dishwashing liquid comes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the dishwashing liquid. And I think this is, well, I think any brand of dish, dishwashing liquid should work just fine. So you're gonna need two tablespoons of the liquid. Put that in. Go ahead and mix that up. Now we have this nice solution that is going to create bubbles. But as most of you may know, we want to build with bubbles. And in order to do that, we want to make sure that our bubbles are going to last. And so that is where our sugar comes from. The sugar helps our bubbles so that they don't evaporate. And that is another vocabulary word. Evaporation is the process of changing from a solution to a gas or a vapor. And we want to make sure that as we build today, and whenever I talk to students about building, I also mention that it's like engineering. So anytime we engineer with something, we want to make sure, especially with bubbles, we wanna make sure our materials last. So to help us engineer with our bubbles today, we're gonna to use one tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. So we, now we have this nice solution to create our bubbles. First, you want to make sure you have a bubble solution on your surface. I'm gonna do that now. Kind of get that all nice and bubbly. This is my bubble building. And as you can see, it's not lasting very long, but that's what happens. The nice thing too with um, projects like this is like for this bubble building, um, I've also provided a way to extend the lesson into design and technology. Um, we're very fortunate here that we have access to 3D printers. So one of the ways students design is through Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a free website in which students can go in and they can create 3D models. So the bubble building that I just created, that structure of three bubbles, can be recreated online um, digitally and students can do this before and then, you know, if they want a 3D model before and then try to compare that with their actual creation or they can recreate it after. And, um, you know, for us, we have the opportunity to, to print what students, what students create, which adds in the, the art and the technology. And for funsies, <laughs> you can also create bubble wands and 3D print those. So this is an actual bubble wand there. Have fun. <laughs> well, a 3D printer is a huge resource for those students there in McFarland. You can take this bubble blowing project to the next level by creating bubble wands with items you already have in your kitchen, like slotted spoons, funnels, and cookie cutters too. So just head over to our website, turn to 23com forward slash science Sundays to continue in the fun. And join us next week as we feature some of the standout projects from the Kern County Virtual Science Fair.